Beauty and practicality. You're looking here at just some of the indigenous-inspired face masks that are the brainchild of Tyson Wesley. Tyson is originally from Kasheshawan. He now lives in Ottawa. But these designs, they're not just art for art's sake. They are helping Tyson give back, helping Tyson protect indigenous lives. Tyson is our guest this morning, Tyson Wesley in Ottawa. Welcome to our program. Thanks for being our guest. Thank you. They are beautiful, and we want more people to hear about what you're doing. So give me, a, give me the background to this, Tyson. What gave you the idea to, to help out in this way? Um, we started on October 13th uh, last week, actually, and we've, uh, we've been kind of thinking about how we could give back before that. We were trying to plan a way, then we found a, a great supplier who had all these masks for us, and uh, we wanted to... We wanted, we wanted to share, so uh, we created the the face mask initiative so we could send masks to uh, children in our in, in my community and close to close to my community. So so just so pause on that because that is the big to me. I mean, just the the greatest element of this. You're you're selling these masks, but for every one that you sell, you donate to the community you're from, Kasheshawan, also Attawapiskat, also Fort Albany, so up to James Bay. You sell one, you donate one, and you and you help a lot of people. There has been a need, hasn't there, Tyson? I mean, in getting proper supplies into some of the remote First Nations communities. Yeah, especially for children's size masks, uh, there was like we live in an isolated reserve, and there's not much choice. There's not a lot of uh, opportunity to purchase this stuff. So uh, we found this initiative a great way to to meet or help protect our children, and in turn protect our protect our elders. So. Not only protecting them with the masks, but also showcasing the art. Let's look at some. I mean, the, the masks are just gorgeous with the indigenous art that they feature. Some, some people watching may not recognize all of the artists. Norval Morriso for sure caught my eye. But tell me about some of the artists that you're also showcasing, Tyson. Yeah, we're showcasing James Jacko. Um, uh, sorry. Um, Roy Henry Vickers. Uh, John Rambo. John Rambo. So we're, these are well-known artists across the country. So we, we're showcasing them. So... There's many beautiful designs. Well, they really and each are. One has a, yeah. And each one has a different meaning. And uh, our customers and uh, the people that wear them are finding their own meaning in the art piece. You started on the 13th. We're just here. Yeah. You know, we're on the 23rd. So we're just 10 days later. What kind of response have you had to the sale of your masks? The response has been great. We've been shipping our masks all over the country, all the three territories and the 10 provinces, and we were getting a lot of traction in the United States also. The furthest we shipped is the Netherlands and in Ireland, so we're, we're getting, we're just sending our masks even further and further, so that, it's been a great response. Now, I happen to know that, that your initial hope was maybe 250 masks. What's the number this morning that you've actually sold? We reached uh, 3,935 masks sold today. Isn't that incredible? I, I hope we have this picture to show because one of the other details I love is there's a handwritten note, isn't there, that accompanies the masks that go out? Yeah, our uh, initial 800 orders had, uh, had the note, uh, but... We had to stop doing that because we, we we just couldn't give the time and the just the, the love I guess to to send our notes. So we're I'm, I'm sad that we can't do that anymore because we're trying to send as much mass to everybody as possible. So, but you're a victim been, of your own success. So just so we're clear, you've sold thirty nine hundred approximately. That means you're going to donate thirty nine hundred so far to the children in those three First Nations communities. Have they received their masks yet or is that still coming? That's still coming. Um, we initially ordered six hundred and they were they were, they were starting to develop this, the kids masks. So uh, we're hoping to send them out at the end of the month. But uh yeah, we're trying to get the numbers for uh, Ottawa Biscuit, Cash, and Fort Albany. Right now, the the chair of the school board in Cash gave us uh, a number of 600 masks. 
So we're uh, we're trying to find out how many Ottawa Biscuit needs and how many Fort Albany needs, and we're trying to look for other communities and organizations that help Indigenous communities uh, uh, make it through this pandemic. So we're we're always happy to give out our masks, and we're just waiting for people to contact us and for us to to send them out when we receive them. Isn't that wonderful that you might be able to, or thinking about expanding this beyond the three communities, beyond this. So so just imagine something for me, Tyson, if you would. Because I mentioned you're from Kosheshawan. So think about a young boy in Kosheshawan, your home, getting a mask that showcases a beautiful piece of Indigenous art and is safer because of that. How do you feel about making a difference in that way? It's great. Uh, like, Cash is my community. It's my home. So it's... Uh it's, it's my family that I'm protecting, right? So it's, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been great. I bet they're excited to get theirs, and surely people are to purchase as well. Tyson, thank you very much. You know, on Fridays, notably, Tyson, we like to focus on the heroes and the helpers in this pandemic crisis, and you are definitely in that category. Thanks for the time today and telling us about what you're doing. Thank you.